नए नए अपडेट पाने के लिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और घंटे को दबाना मत भूलिए तो बंधुरा आज के तुम्हारे जो नहीं चले एन ए टी एस पोर्टाले क्यों रेजिस्ट्रेशन करते हैं कि भाव एप्रेंटिसिपर जो एखे आवेदन करते हैं तो एन ए टी एस पोर्टाल डिप्लोमा बीटेक जरा भोकेशनल कर जरा आई टी आई करो तरज आलदा पोर्टाल आखने गए ता रेजिस्ट्रेशन कर तो एक एक समस्त प्रोसेसगुलो देखिए देव ये भिडियोते जो भिडियो तुम्हारे भलो लेगे थे तो हमें भिडियो के लाइक कमेंट शेयर अवश्य करो तो तर आगे एन टी एस पोर्टाले जावर आगे छोटो इंट्रो हो जा और ये भिडियो तुम्हारे जो भलो लेगे थे तो भिडियो के लाइक कमेंट और शेयर अवश्य करो You are going to do see about how to enroll as a student user in National Apprenticeship Training Scheme. To produce further, please ensure that following documents are kept ready for enrolling in the portal. First one, any one of the following government ID, which are mandatory: driving license, voter ID, passport, PAN card. Second one, valid personal email ID. This is also mandatory. Third one, mobile number will be required to send OTP. This is also mandatory. Fourth one, qualifying degree or professional certificate format PDF size less than 1 MB. This is also mandatory. Passport size photograph format JPG size less than 200 KB. Bank account details and other card. Let's see how to do it. Enter the following URL in any of your favorite browser: www.mhrdnhs.gov.in. It's direct you to the National Apprenticeship Training Scheme website, where you can see the menus like for about jobs, student industries, institution, login button, enroll button. When you search. these menus you will get details and information about this website now let's see how to enroll student just click on the enroll button on top right hand side of your web page once you click the enroll button it directs you to the user registration page from this please select category as a student and then click the submit button after giving submit button it's direct you to the NHS portal enrollment process in this enrollment process we have four steps of process they are eligibility check questionnaire and guidelines three enrollment form preview and confirm now let's do the enrollment process one by one in eligibility check we have to answer the below questions to check your eligibility here i am choosing the option as a student and then in below field we have to update the status of our course if you have completed the course means just select have completed or you still passing the course just select i am doing In next field select your category based on your education qualification. In next field select the year of passing and then choose the mode of education as sandwich. Have you undergone any master or post graduation course? If you yes mean select yes or else select no. Have you undertaken any previous training as a part of the apprenticeship program except as sandwich student? If yes mean select yes or else select no. Do you have any work experience of 1 year or more? If yes means select yes or else select no. If you have work experience means you are not eligible to enroll this apprentice program. That's it. You will get greeting message at congrats. You are eligible to enroll now. Next in document table. As I mentioned earlier, please ensure that the following documents are kept ready for enrolling in the portal. If you are the data please click I have data button once you click on the I have about data button it will ask you to enter the mobile number to send OTP to verify the mobile number now just type the mobile number and then click on the 
send OTP. Once you click on the send OTP link, you will receive OTP to the internet mobile number. If you haven't received the OTP, please click on regenerate OTP. Once you click on regenerate OTP, you will receive an OTP to internet mobile number. In one time password field, enter the OTP number and click continue button. Now your mobile number got verified. In name of student field, enter your name as per your qualification certificate or mark sheet. Now please use space instead. In primary email ID field, enter your primary email ID and in set up the a password field, we have to set up the password. The password should be minimum 8 to 16 characters one capital letter, one small letter, one number, one special character, no space as sample given below there. Now enter the password in password field. Next in confirm password field, you have to re-enter the password. If you would like to view the password, click on show password. After confirming the password, click save and continue button. Once you click on save and continue button, you have successfully finished step 1 process eligibility check. And now you step into step 2 process, questionnaire and guidelines. In questionnaire and guidelines, you will see the required document and terms and conditions. Just scroll down the read the terms and conditions. Once you agree with the above term and conditions, please click the checkbox and click agree and continue button. Once you click agree and continue button, it directs to you the step 3 process. Now you have successfully finished step 2 process, questionnaire and guidelines and step into step 3 process, enrollment form. In enrollment form, you have to update information like personal information, educational details, and training preference. In personal information, you have categories like basic information, communication information, and bank details. First, let's update basic information. In basic information, you have to upload your passport size, photograph, image type should be JPG. Dimension should be 3.5 into 4.5 and file size less than 200 KB can be uploaded. In image field, your uploaded photo will be shown. And then in name of student field, you can see the name get update automatically from first level process. In father's name field, you have to enter your father's name as per your qualification certificate or worksheet. In mother's name field, you have to enter your mother's name as per your qualification certificate or worksheet. In date of birth field, select the date of birth as per your qualification certificate or worksheet. Now click on the top two. Choose the year, then select the year. Now select the month, now select the date. In government ID card field, select the ID proof you are going to submit. In next field, enter the government ID proof number. In gender field, select your gender. Now in upload document, government ID card field, you have to upload your select ID proof in PDF format. To upload, click upload button. Once you uploaded the file, you can see the text has file available. Now in community field, select your community. If your community is not available, here please select option as other. In next, if you belong to minority community, select option as yes or else select no. If you means please specify in next field or else no need. In field of person with disability, if you are disability person, select yes or else select no. The next category is communication information. In this section, you have to update your communication address info. First, you have to update your permanent address. In state field, select your state. In district field, select your district. In taluk field, select your taluk. In village or locality field, select your village or locality. In door and address field, select your door and address. Now you come to present address. If your present address is same as permanent address, please click on the checkbox. 
When you click on the checkbox, your permanent address will get update on present address. Next, bank information category. Here you are going to update bank account details. In bank name field, select your bank name. In bank branch name field, select your bank branch name. In bank account number field, select your bank account number. In IFSC code field, select your IFSC code. Then click save and continue button. Next section is education details. Here you are going to update educational details. In type of diploma field, choose if you have completed diploma after 12 means select diploma after 10 plus 2. Or if you have completed diploma after 10 means select diploma after 10. In registration number or roll number field, select your registration number or roll number. In name of the Technical board field, select your name of your technical board. In which the college belongs field, select your state to which your college belongs. In city, district, in which the college belongs field, select your city, district, in which your college belongs. In name of the college field, select your name of your college. In branch of diploma field, select your branch of diploma. In year of Passing select your year of passing. In month of passing field, select your month of passing. In percentage of mark or CGPA field, select your percentage of mark or CGPA. In class obtained field, select your obtained class. In elective subject field, select your elective subject if you have or else leave it empty. In short term certificate course field, Enter the name of your course in duration in wings field, select the duration. Now in next field, you have to upload qualification degree, professional certificate diploma in PDF format. Now click upload button, file of type PDF and size maximum of 1 MP can only be uploaded. Once you have uploaded the file, please click save and continue button. On clicking save and continue button, you have completed educational details. And now next category is training and preference. Here you are going to update your preference of training. In choice of establishment, select establishment you would like to train. In field and area of interest, select area of interest. In next session, you have to choose state and city preferred for apprenticeship training. In choice, one field, select the state you preferred. Next field, select the city you preferred. In choice two, field, select the state you preferred. Next field, select the city you preferred. If you have any other choice, please prefer the state or else leave empty. In next field, choose the preferred state to work after training. In next section, you have to choose state and cities for work after training. In choose first field, select the state you preferred. Next field, select the city you preferred. Next, click on the checkbox. If you agree with terms and conditions, and then click save and preview button. After click serve and preview button, you have successfully finished step 3 process enrollment form and now you step into step 4 process preview and confirm. In this section, you will see the personal information you have entered. Once you review the data, click on the submit button. After giving submit button, pop-up will be displayed as contrast your student's enrollment has been created successfully. At last, by clicking OK button, please find details of your enrollment and login below. Do note that you can log into the portal using email ID and password. Click close and continue. Now in login page, enter your username and password, then click login button. By clicking login button, it directs you to your profile. Here you can view your enrollment status like your name, email, date of registration, status, pending with action, updated on, updated at. Now your status is pending, your enrollment is pending for verification. Once verified, you will have access to all the features in the portal.
Thanks for your participation of this free enjoyment session.